In section 3.4, we'll be focusing on quite a few things. The first part of the notes will be focusing on definitions and constructions. And the second part of the notes will be proof-based and going beyond CPCTC. At this point, I'd like you to pause the video, fill in the CPCTC review section, and hit play once you are done. When we say corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, the parts of those triangles are the sides and angles. So just keep that in mind. When do we use CPCTC? We can only use CPCTC after proving triangles congruent. Let's talk about an auxiliary line. The definition of this would be lines, rays, or segments that do not appear in the original figure. Why do we use them? We use it in order to make the proof process easier or to assist with the proof process. For example, if we're looking over here at the diagram, let's say there was a point D there. We could connect points B and D and create our own segment within the diagram. When we do this in a proof, we have to make note of it. So we'd say, in a step, draw BD, because we physically drew in that segment. The reason for that, which is a new reason, is that two points determine a segment. Next, we'll be focusing on altitudes and medians. Make sure you remember the difference between the two. First, we'll talk about altitudes. An altitude is going to be a segment that's drawn from the vertex of a triangle and forms right angles with the opposite side, or it's perpendicular to the opposite side. And since we have three vertices in each triangle, that means that we have three altitudes that we can draw in each triangle. So we have three total. So what I'd like you to do at this point is to draw in the three altitudes of given triangle. Let's start off with the first one. We have to start at the vertex of the triangle. So I'm starting with the triangle all the way on the left. When we start at that vertex, let's just choose any one. It's that top one right there. We have to construct an altitude. So we have to draw a segment that is going to be perpendicular to the opposite side. So we want to draw a segment that will create a right angle at the opposite side, which means from that vertex we're going to draw straight down, draw a straight vertical line segment there. Now let's go to the other vertex and find the side that's opposite that vertex, which is right here. And what we're going to do is do the same thing again. We're drawing it from the vertex, so we're drawing it straight down to form right angles with that opposite side. And then finally, our last one, we'll draw that in. Remember, we're forming right angles with the opposite sides, perpendicular to the opposite side. Let's take a look at this next triangle. It's a little unique because the triangle is already a right triangle. So if we start up with that vertex and we want to draw a segment that's perpendicular to the opposite side, that side of the triangle is our altitude. So that is an altitude of the triangle. Same here, if we start with this vertex, the side opposite that vertex is right there. Which again, if we draw in that altitude, it's going to be a side of the right triangle because we have that right angle there. And finally, the third one is similar to example one. Now let's take a look at this triangle. We have an obtuse triangle here, which we'll learn more about in a little bit. But if we try to draw a segment that's perpendicular to the opposite side like that, do you think that would work? No, that doesn't form right angles. That doesn't work. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and think about a way we can draw in our altitude. When you're ready, you can hit play again. For these types of triangles, we can actually draw an exterior altitude. Because if we were to imaginarily extend that opposite base and draw in our altitude, then it's going to form right angles with that side. Similarly, with this vertex, we have to make sure that our altitude is an exterior one for this one, considering we cannot draw a segment that is 
perpendicular to the opposite side that lands within the triangle. That wouldn't work. It wouldn't form right angles. So we have to draw an exterior one. And then our last altitude is similar to what we focused on in the first triangle. Think about a median in a road, which is the middle of the road. So median, similarly to an altitude, it's going to start from the vertex of a triangle. So it's going to be drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. And once again, we have three medians in each triangle since we have three vertices. So it's a little bit more straightforward, in my opinion, when constructing the medians over the altitudes because we just have to find the midpoint of the opposite side. You can kind of eyeball it and say, oh, yeah, that appears to be the midpoint. Okay. If I asked you to actually measure it out and construct a median, then I would give you a ruler or something. But typically, you can just freehand in and eyeball it here. Um, we do have to know what they mean for our proofs, which we'll talk about in the second part of the note. So that's what I'm mostly concerned about. But please make sure that you're drawing in your medians, but then also adding in those tick marks to show that that segment is being drawn to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the median is then going to divide the opposite side into two congruent segments. What I'd like you to do now is then pause the video and fill in the other two triangles. Once you're done, hit play to compare your answers with mine. Let's think about this question. Can one segment simultaneously be a median and altitude? The answer is yes. Why? We'll talk about this throughout the class, but it's because of congruent triangles. We'll get into a little bit more of this in class, but it is because of congruent triangles. So if you circled yes, please try to draw an example below. There you go. It should look something like that. Now let's take a look at those reasons for our proofs. If you have to pause the video to copy these down, please make sure you do so. But for the median, we have um, both one if-then statement and then kind of the converse of it. So we've already talked about it. If a segment is a median, it divides the side to which it is drawn into two congruent segments. And then the altitude is going to form right angles. So please make sure you read over those and copy those down. We'll be using those in our proofs in a moment.